Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt like there's got to be more to life than the reality that you see every day? Tune in weekly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as we crack the codes to freedom in every area of your life. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode 44. And today we're going to talk about focus, right? Because focus is everything. You, you know, I've, hear, I've heard people say, I'm a jack of all trades, but a master of none. And I've heard them say it kind of like in a proud way. And I always thought to myself, mm, that's not anything to be proud of, right? I mean, let me say that again, a jack of all trades, but a master of none. And and it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay to have skills in lots of different areas, but 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 at some point you want to get really good. Like we, in the last episode, we talked about value, and you want to have so much value in a certain area that you can command, you know, you know, an increase. You can command um, based on the value that you bring, right? You want to have a sense of excellence in an area instead of being okay at a lot of areas, if that makes sense. So. So focus is everything. I'll probably say that a few more times just to really just make sure you got it, right? Focus is everything. And so, um, you know, one of the ways to have focus, though, is to have a purpose and, and to, remind, to be reminded of what your why is. Like, why are you doing what you're doing? Whatever endeavor you're working on, whatever project, whatever goal you're shooting for, what is the why? Like, when you accomplish it, What's going to happen because you've accomplished it or the ultimate thing that you want to to, to make happen, um, the, even even the freedom that you seek, right? The freedom that you seek. Once you get the freedom, what are you going to do with that freedom, right? Because if you just have all this time in the world and all this money in the world and you don't have a purpose, then you may find yourself not being free anymore, <laughs> right? Because you know, you, you, you abuse it. You know, the the Dr. Miles Monroe used to say where purpose is unknown, abuse is inevitable. And, um, you know, I, I firmly believe that once you know what your purpose is, you have some targets and you got to get those targets for certain reasons to make certain things happen and, and, and certain things to be accomplished. So, um, so, so again, that purpose and, and, and knowing your why, knowing, what is it that you are looking to accomplish from it, right? Um, what's the ultimate goal that you're shooting for here? Um, you don't want to be an octopus on roller skates or you'll get nowhere fast, right? Just imagine that, an octopus on roller skates, all those legs going nowhere fast, right? And so, the, the, again, focus is everything. And we want to make sure that we can do that. There's a book, by the way, you guys know, Pretty much every episode, I'll probably suggest a book. Well, there's a book called The Power of Focus, and it's a great book to read uh, where it kind of helps you to, 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 to get a perspective of focus. But, but I want to just share with you uh, just this quick example of, of how I look at focus. So you, you ever be on a highway and the traffic is backed up and backed up and backed up for miles, and you're just like, what in the world has gone on up there? So you're almost like praying, like, man, I hope, I hope everybody's okay. You know, I hope everything's good. And so you finally get up to the front where the the issue is happening, and it's on the other side, <laughs> and and it's 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 may not even be as serious, right? Maybe a little fender bender, which you know could potentially be serious, but it's on the other side, guys. But what happened was somebody got distracted and then someone looked and then the other and then they slowed down and it caused someone else behind them to slow down and it caused someone else to slow down and then the next thing you know I mean if you think about it if, if one person's going 60 miles an hour and they slow down the other person kind of has to go 50 miles an hour and then next thing you know the other person has to get to about you know 40 or, or 35 miles an hour and next thing you know we're at a standstill all because of someone that could look, several people that looked on the other side, uh, not even on the side. Like your lane is totally clear. There's nothing obstructing you from getting to where you need to go. But you decided to take your eyes off the prize. 
and that's what happens when you lose focus, right? And so um, you just want to make sure you have that discipline. Yes, distractions are inevitable, but but the focus is critical. It's 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 critical to stay focused. And so, what I would even suggest you do is maybe write down some of the potential distractions. And what are you going to do to stay focused? You know, for me, one of the things that helps me stay focused is I write everything down in a planner. Everything, like even family stuff. I put I put the family stuff in first, and then I, I put my business stuff around that. That way, um, the, the, the priorities, the things that matter most, the, the things that matter uh, first, they get to go in there first. Now, do I get it right all the time? Absolutely not. But because I have a planner, you know, you know how I always say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Because I have a planner, um, I have a higher likelihood of staying on track because I, I, I take it everywhere. I mean, I'm telling, I'm talking. If I go to the grocery store, <laughs> that 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 planner is, is in my is in my car because I may get a phone call while I'm at the grocery store of something that has to happen, and I need to make sure I, I put pencil it in, or or that I I see where it can fit in the schedule, right? Um, so, so I'm always just looking at, um, just making sure that I can stay on track, if that makes sense. So, um, and then, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a write down type of person, an old school planner type of guy, but I still also use electronic calendars for reminders, just in case something like maybe, maybe I'm in a place where I really can't bring my planner, um, and I need to have that in there. Or maybe I just need to make sure that I set a reminder or an alarm, some days ahead just to make sure that I prep for whatever needs to get done. But the point that I'm making is that um, there's a target. There's a, there's a, there's a sense of a focus there uh, because I have the planner, right? If you just kind of just wait to see what's going to happen and just wait for the wind to blow and see which way it's going to take you, well, you may not like where it takes you. So, um, you know, we're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about budgeting f- from a money perspective, but also from a time perspective. And I think I think part of focus is just but it's, it's about budgeting. It's about budgeting how things are going to play out and having it on paper, not just having it in your mind, having it accounted for. Right. That's kind of what budgeting is for is, is giving an account to something. And so focus it, it takes that, right? Like if you don't have, like for instance, and hey, this is a, it's a rhetorical question, but it's a real question. So, you know, a question you may want to ask yourself is a couple questions is, you know, okay, this next coming up week that's coming up, what does my schedule look like? And how many times am I working on my project that I need to get done? Or what am I doing to 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 get closer to, freedom or so that I can fulfill the destiny that I'm for, I'm called to do, right? Like, like is that stuff in your planner? What do you have? What did you do today, right? What did you do yesterday? What did you do last week? How about this? It's April, right? And April's about to be gone in a week. Well, how did the first quarter go for you? And what are we doing to shift it into the second quarter so that by the end of the year, it's just not another year gone by? Right. These are just things you got to think about, like really putting things into perspective so that you can get things done. Uh, But more importantly, get those priorities done, get those absolute focuses done. So so what are the focuses? What what are the most important priorities that need to get done, that need to happen for you to be winning? And, And and again, this 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 podcast is about freedom, but the freedom is is really because you have a purpose. You you were called for a certain purpose. You have an assignment and you need to fulfill that assignment. And so we need to move you in the direction of getting to that place. Um, and that's why focus is important. So as I said, focus is everything. And I pray that 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 you really take 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 into some consideration some of these things that can help you to to, to build and to help you to grow, to help you to develop what you need to, to get out of it, what, everything that you need, right? So um, again, focus is everything. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. God bless. Take care.
Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, definitely feel free to take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram uh, or Facebook or wherever you find me on social media. I would love to give you a shout out. Hey, you might even get a prize. Who knows? But uh, excited that you had a chance to take a listen. I hope you got a lot of value. And uh, definitely feel free to uh, give us five stars as well as a review. Uh, show us some love and we appreciate you. God bless you all and see you all over the top.